talk about some of the individual names, the stock which have actually been consistent performers. I think Sehi will join us to talk to us about some of the stocks which have managed to consistently deliver over 20% returns year on year because uh, those are some of the, and there's only a handful of names to be honest which have done that. Snehi, tell us which are those names? Well, absolutely. We've seen some stocks outperforming the others over the last five years. And take a let's take a list a look at the list of those stocks. Let's uh, start by looking at Praveg. Now, Praveg is up 134% on an annualized basis over the last five years, followed by Varun Beverages at 64%, Tube Investment at 62%, and Trent at 56%. Now, what's key to note is all of these stocks have hit their record high levels very recently, all of them in the month of December itself, Pravig hit 783.5 on December 26, Varun Beverage is 1380 on December 20, Tube Investment 4050 rupees a share on 11th of December and uh, Trent on uh, 27 December at 3059 rupees per share. What's key to no note about Pravig is that it traded at just two and a half rupees five years ago and look at those record high levels that it has reached now and let's talk about these companies in a little detail as well now uh, let me take you through what Praveg has done Praveg is a pioneer in non-permanent luxury accommodation and it's recently also forayed into wedding management now what are the triggers for this stock why has it outperformed in 2018 it backed the tender from Gujarat tourism to set up a tent city near the statue of unity in Gujarat now after that model was successful the government floated tenders in uh, different states as well and Praveg Pravik has secured contracts in Varanasi, Daman and Diu in 2023 for these cities as well. Moving on, let's address Varun Beverages up 64% on an annualized basis over the last five years. It's the second largest bottling company of PepsiCo's beverages outside of the US. And uh, well, the triggers are that it is expanding not only in India, but also internationally. With its recent um, expansion, they've also addressed that they're acquiring 100% stake in the beverage company, which is a South African company. Now, the South Africa market has a potential to increase by 25%. That's what's going to aid the company going ahead as well. Its energy drink brand, which is Sting, has witnessed an exponential growth over the last two years as well. And another key trigger is that the company has, send, has signed an MOU with the Jharkhand government to set up a manufacturing plant in Patra too with a 450 crore rupee outlay as well. So that's why Varun Beverages has outperformed. Moving on, let's also talk about Tube Investments, up 62% on an annualized basis over the last five years. It's an Indian engine and manufacturing company and uh, the triggers for this uh, stock outperforming are that it, uh, it announced its foray into the small commercial EV space via its subsidiary TI Clean Mobility in the month of July and it's, the engineering business is also expected to grow in double digits over the next two to three years so it also looks promising going ahead. Lastly, let's talk about Trent. That stock is up, is uh, 56. It has given 56% gains on an annualized basis over the last five years as well. It's what's key to note is it's the fifth Tata Group company to have a market cap of more than one lakh crore rupees. It is the most expensively valued retail stock in the world as well. And the key triggers for this company are two of its segments: one being to, uh, Zudio and the other being Star Bazaar. Now Zudio has seen considerable expansion with uh, more than 350 standalone stores. Uh, over the last few years and the grocery seg segment which is Star Bazaar also presents a huge opportunity to support growth so well those are the triggers for trend and that is why all of these stocks have outperformed in the last few years. All right, thanks very much Snehi for giving us some of those key triggers and interesting points there. Let's move right on and uh, 